A saint made several trips to Minnesota during her lifetime. Joe Mazin has Mother Teresa's connection to the Twin Cities in this week's So Minnesota. Her home in Golden Valley has a unique claim to fame. Not something you would expect when you buy a house. <laughs> Laura Marins knows the surprising story that a saint slept here. We call it the Mother Teresa room, and we'll say that people are like, huh? Mother Teresa of Calcutta visited a family that used to live here. There's a lock on the door because apparently their kids used to like to go up and bother her. And we were told we shouldn't um, interrupt her in the mornings because she was praying and meditating in her room. Teresa Kump Leghorn grew up in this house with a Mother Teresa history. She was very warm. She liked to laugh. She liked a good joke. She enjoyed playing with our pets. In 1960, after reading an article in a Catholic magazine, Teresa's mother wrote a letter to Mother Teresa. She was really moved by her story and a, the way that she took care of the poorest of the poor and the way that she saw Jesus and every person that she helped. Mother Teresa wrote her back. It started a friendship that would last more than 30 years. So they wrote, I think, almost every month. I know there's more than 200 letters that my parents had in their, in their files from her. When Mother Teresa would visit the United States, she made several trips to their home. We knew we had somebody special in the house, but no, she was just a friend of the family like anybody else. And she would play with us kids. She would have meals with us. This is insane. Mother Teresa wasn't prepared for Minnesota winters. She was freezing cold. So my dad had an old gray sweater that he gave her to wear. And we laughed for years afterwards because we would see her in photographs and she'd be wearing the sweater that my dad lent her. Love as I have loved you, as I love you now. As the years went by, the so-called saint of the gutter, Mother Teresa's fame grew. That was sort of a surprise to see her on the cover of Time magazine when this is somebody that we just grew up knowing. Mother Teresa passed away in 1997 at the age of 87. She was dictating a letter to my mom the day that she died, so um, they remained close till the end. Big headline tonight about Mother Teresa. In 2016, the Catholic Church named Mother Teresa a saint. More than 100,000 worshipers packed into a sunny St. Peter's Square. My mother and father were actually very honored to participate in the beatification of Mother Teresa. To many, she has long been a saint. And they went to Rome when Mother was beatified, and they actually participated in the Mass they were able to bring the gifts up to the altar, which was a, a very big moment for them. That was very moving for them to participate in that. Teresa says one thing we should always remember is that long before Mother Teresa was named a saint, she lived her life as a normal person. That was really the beauty of my parents' relationship with, with her was really on a one-to-one -one personal level. We can make a difference in our own world just by doing the small things with great love. That's what she, what Mother Teresa said, and I think that's true. She selectively liked to stay up in this attic room. Inside the house today, Laura has a photo of Mother Teresa taken inside her home. It's a conversation piece. It's kind of funny to, to realize that, that she had been in our house, like in Minnesota. It's sort of a strange, yeah, not something you would expect when you buy a house. <laughs> Mother Teresa once said, we shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do. In this home, she's made many grin from ear to ear. In Golden Valley, Joe Mazin, 5 Eyewitness News.